gets he ready. ready <laughs> if you guys ever, you'll be sorry. Hey, if you ever. Here. Here. And you know what I mean. Good evening. The Board of Zoning Appeals for March 8, 2017 is now in session. I would like to introduce my board. Uh, to my left is Skip Sweeney and Brandon Dines. I am Yvonne Valentek. To my right is Chris Gerald and Blair uh, Hamilton. To my far right is Heather Freeman, a Township Zoning Inspector. Under the advice of counsel, we ask that anyone speaking tonight must be sworn in. If you, ple if you plan on speaking, please stand up and raise your right hand. Thank you. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? If so, um, um, if so, say, say, help me, God. I do, or say I do. I'm sorry. Please be seated. That's falling apart already. Be patient tonight. Uh, when presenting your case or commenting, please come to the microphone uh, and state your name and address. Heather, were the uh, legal notices given in a timely manner? Thank you. Uh, tonight we have two appeals. One is a continuation from last month. A three vote majority is required to either approve or deny your appeal. If the request is denied, you have the right to file an appeal. Um, I am going to reopen the meeting from last month. The hearing. The hearing, I'm sorry, as a continuation. Um, <clears throat> we're going to reopen the hearing from last month <coughs> for uh, appeal number 0117-1084. Mr. Dave Hopkins of Paradise Pools is requesting a variance for the property located at 11447. Visseroy Street and being permanent parcel <coughs> number 08-A-012-J-00-076-0 to construct an in-ground pool, concrete patio, along with related soil disturbing activities, including grading and filling within the riparian setback, which is prohibited in section 17.07A of the zoning resolution. Mr. Hopkins, can you please come up? You already have a site plan, from what I understand, and you have a letter. I'm pretty sure. I think Heather said. Um, uh, kind of, uh, kind of Thank you. There. And then I put together something that kind of pinpoints what we had talked about, and I guess I'll let you look at it, and then you tell me when you want me to talk. You tell me if you want to ask questions, what you want to do. Um. Just so it's clear for the record, this is the same site plan. This is not a new site. That's plan. a new site plan. Is this different than the one that was in our packet that was that, that we you were... just received? Yeah. This no, is... it's the same one. Okay. It's, it's the, the same, same one. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted it's, to make sure for the record. It's the same one. Yes, sir. Um, and I'm Heather. We're gonna put the with the documents that are just handed to the board will become part of the record. Okay. Do you have a copy? I'm talking about. You have another copy that you just gave the board. For who? For me. Oh. For the record, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. I tried making nine copies, but my ink ran out, so I only made seven copies. As far as I know, there was four items that we really had, you know, reason why we're back here that you had asked that you wanted me to look at, and I did. And uh, three of them were fine, the fourth one is not, and so I don't know. So you've received the, uh, the letter from the Lake County Building Department and intend to address all the highlighted items? Yes, sir. I've already gone over it with the engineer, the, excuse me, the structural engineer that designed, did the architectural work on the wall. I've already talked to <coughs> Ready Rock, the people that manufactured the block, so, and as far as the material and everything, yes. Mm -hmm. What I really wanted to find out was, I, I guess the idea was, if it's okay, was if, um, 
we've covered all the items, four items, knowing one that was not approved, which was denied, was a wall, basically the building permit for Lake County. The other three had to do with the variance that you would ask me about, about not grading behind the wall. And if you look at the drawing blueprint, you'll see that we changed it. Um, I, th I think the idea would be that hopefully we could get uh, an approval and then with the stipulation that once the wall is approved by the building department that we could move forward. That was the idea. That's what I was looking at. Um, one of the things that jumped out from that letter, and I was trying to understand myself looking at the drawings, is the line that's shown for around, as the, that's depicted as the wall around the pool, is that the, um, the top of the wall or is that the front of the wall? Because the wall has a batter. If you look at your sections, I think that was one of the kind well, of the comments that they had in their plan review. One of the things is this, is that when the wall was designed, the ready rock material, you can actually, it interlocks, it has a lip on the outside, the um, outside wall, you know, um, not the inside, the outside. And it has a lip where the concrete patio can go butt up to it. So the concrete patio is flush on top of the uh, uh, wall. And I think um, Kirk and George from the engineering department had specified that they did, they preferred that not to be that way. Well, I talked to, I, I'm prepared to do either way. I'm prepared to do it where you, where the wall, uh, where the concrete butts up to the wall, or I'm prepared based on talking to Ready Rock today, he's gonna give me some information to provide for the engineering department that they do it all the time. In other locations, they all over the state of Ohio, he's ODOT approved and everything. He's going to give me some information so I can present it to him that why can't we put it on top? Um, I think that's what you would ask, right? Well, my question is if I look at the first, we'll call it section of wall or block, is what's shown on the plan, is that the, is that that block or is that the uh, top <coughs> block that's shown on the plan? Because the wall banner Which part back. are you looking at, sir? Your yeah, what are you sections referring here? to? Okay. So is I'm not looking at that, but okay. Okay, so the, in your plan, you showed where the wall location is. So is that location of the wall up where the wall, the top of the wall, or is that the bottom of the wall? Because the top of the wall and the bottom of the wall are not the same location. The wall Which? slips back. Um, That's my question. Oh. I got you. <laughs> okay. He's talking about uh, number five block high section? Uh, any of the sections. Any of the sections. The, so when we look at the drawings, because if, if, if this gets approved and you know, zoning goes and does an inspection, <coughs> wherever the wall is shown on your drawings, that's where the wall needs to be. So my question is, is that the front face of that wall or is that the top of the wall that's shown on those drawings? Because they can't deviate from what we approve if we approve. So let, let me ask you a question. Sure. Besides this, if um, I understand that, of course, the wall is a big part of this. Yeah. So it's a huge if part. do you rely on the engineering department to provide? I mean, if they say everything's fine, whatever it is, does that meet your does that meet your standards? Yes, but that's okay. not my question. But yes. I, okay. So to answer your question, since I have a big copy and I don't have a small copy, I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to make sure I'm pointing the same thing. Come on, right here. Yes. So that's the lip on the outside. This is the back. Of, this is back towards the creek. This yes. This is the ground. That's what this is. The the concrete slab or the patio goes up to there. Correct. But what what? Where's the? There's a dimension to the wall <coughs> that uh, is fixed. And the question is, is that the base of the wall or is that the top of the wall on the on the site plan? That's the top of the wall. Okay. Okay. That's, that's the top. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the top of the wall. That's the top of the wall. So the base of the wall is juts out further. For uh, some some distance further than that than what's shown on the site plan. You mean the red the, yeah. the red blocks on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So that's the actual dimension we're approving. Right. You, you understand? Yeah. Uh, anything. In that area, uh, any disturbance, that's what your variance is for. So you're approving the bottom part, right. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and yeah. we don't have that dimension on here. We have the dimension to the top of the wall. Okay. And how, how much is the offset? 
I don't know. You well, you know what? Some of it, I, I can tell on, on the site plan, it's 57 and a half feet. That's what it specifies. Does it not? Yes. That's, yeah. a, that's yeah. the spot. I mean, that's what we're looking at. It's 57 and a half feet. So, um, I want to tell you that that 57 and a half, so, so what you're basically asking me is, is that 57 and a half feet to the top or to the bottom red part? That's what you're asking. <coughs> right. Fifty-seven half feet from the, from the high point of the creek to the back of the wall. I think. Let me say this. I I can't give you a hundred percent exact answer. I know that the. Based on, on the plan here, you're at, right now, the closest point of the wall to the easement is 43 inches, okay? So, I don't know that because I went over today. I, I, so I don't know if that, is, that was part of what Chad had brought up about the distance, that's why we changed it. So your question is, is the 57 and a half feet, are you approving that, are you approving? You something else. Are you proving something else? Yeah. So the top of the wall. I, I, I want to tell you this: that the the, the widest part of the uh, block is two feet. The narrowest spot is one foot. If you add up that slope on the wall, it's something less than a foot. Okay. It's about nine inches. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying there's a, <clears throat> between what the uh, building department <clears throat> says about the, uh, you know, differential settlement and uh, frost affecting where the wall will, will move to that um, the rigid concrete patio surface should not interface with the wall. And you're saying the supplier of the wall that does it all the time. That's what he told me today. That's exactly what he said because I told him we, that I, I, I sent that to him. And he said he did not understand why that would be that way because it, it actually reinforces the wall by doing that. So I, I, I think that, you know, I just, I just received that letter from uh, the engineering department Monday morning at 7.30. Mm -hmm. So I haven't done 100% of all my research on exactly the wall, although I'm going to. I mean, I, I, just, I just received it. So I have between then and, t and when I came here, on that letter, I've uh, pinpointed most of the items. I've talked to a variety of different people. I'm still going, I know I have to prepare that for, the, for Dave Stritko to make sure that it's done correctly. So remind me, and um, from the last time, we there's a lot of poor soils out there, right? And you guys, when they built the house, they had to there's a lot of additional excavation and you need to bring in soils and get it all to work. Are, is that taken into account with this wall construction then that you're gonna get into those poor soils or have all, or had the soils already been replaced in this area for this wall? What we're going to do is we're gonna use premium backfill. We're gonna remove, for the pool, for the pool, we're gonna remove the soil that's there and go down to virgin ground, which I, was, I talked to the builder yesterday and he told me it's 54 inches. So 54 inches down is basically soil that's been replaced, been put there. And we're gonna use what, premium backfill. I'm gonna pro provide that for the engineering department. Mm -hmm. We use number 10s, limestone screenings for it. So 
We'll We're, just walls that, so the existing ground, you're gonna dig additional 54 inches down and then come back and fill it with good soil. Where the pool is going. What about for the wall? The wall basically is sitting already on, on the ground, on the earth. Yeah, it's not sitting on the soil. It's not, it's back far enough. And you know, so you think that, that soil is suitable then? That's yes, that's yes. Ground. yes. That's ground, that's ground. Where the, where the bottom of the wall is going is ground. In okay. front of, between the house and the wall is where the soil is that's been brought in or moved from the house when it was built. We're replacing that with premium backfill when we put the pool in. And I have to provide all that, the dimensions and everything today uh, to the engineering department. And just, because this was in our packet, uh, I just wanna, we're not building this wall, this was just, why was this included, this other wall? What's that, what part is that? It shows a cast in place, reinforced concrete wall. Oh, that, no, no, no. That's, that, that, that won't be built. That's not it. No. Okay, I just. No, that was just another option. That was just another option we were looking at. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Just wanted to make sure it yeah. stated that way for yeah. the record. That was just another option. Okay. We're going to use Ready Rock. That's what the, it's basically states on the bottom of the uh, site plan or the drawing. And again, I'll get all, the, I'm going to get all the information. I mean, I know they're rather strict. I talked to, I've talked to George and Kurt and Dave and, I know what I have to do to make sure that it fits for them. Did you see the, I, I don't know if it's going to brought, be brought up, the items that you had asked about, about keeping further away, not doing any grading behind the wall, keeping further away from the easement? Those were the topics that we brought, you brought up last time? Mm -hmm. You want to just run through it all? Sure. The board? Do you want me to? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay. whatever you want to present. That's fine. Okay. I didn't know if you were going to talk. You wanted me to? Whatever. Uh -huh. That's fine. I don't know. Um, the grading or disturbing in the northeast corner behind wall has been eliminated and noted on the new site plan. It's on the new site, site plan that, you know, on the northeast corner. Um, we had considered moving the wall back. I think I put that on my note. Since then, we've changed that we're not going to move the wall. It's going to stay right where it's at. I talked to Heather, and the wall's staying there. So where it says two feet, eight inches, you can disregard that on my type up letter. Um, I spoke to Vince Urbani from the uh, park in reference to the, um, I think Chad had brought up about replacing, replanting vegetation behind the wall. I think that's what you brought up. And uh, I talked to Vince Urbani, and. He said he didn't see a problem that. We have no problem doing that. Then the third thing was, um, you'll notice on the new site plan, I stopped the wall from going down to the southeast corner by approximately 20 feet. And the grade is still there, so it slopes down. It's still the yard. We don't interfere. And then we're, I think, 43 inches, like I told you, earlier from the uh, uh, easement from the uh, southeast corner of the wall, if you look at the site plan. And that was it. Uh, those, right. are the, those are the three <coughs> items that basically brought up except for the wall. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? You guys come over here. I'm good. Um, okay. Do you guys want to present anything else? I'm pretty sure that I covered what we had said to talk about last time. So other than that, I don't have anything else. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Is there anyone um, else speaking for or against this appeal that would like to come up? Chad, do you, um, can I ask Chad to come up? Chad, do you wanna just maybe remind the board just briefly, maybe some of the stuff that you went through last time in case, or 
don't know if anyone has any questions for Chad. You can <coughs> ask any questions. Do you want me to sign this for you? Yes. Yeah, so My name's Chad Edgar. Office address is 125 East Erie Street, Painesville, Ohio, and I have been sworn in. Thanks, Chad. So, again, like Mr. Hapman said, the issues that we had brought up, our office had brought up, have been resolved. No grading shown east of the wall. Um, and he had talked to Metro Parks, apparently, uh, about <coughs> replanting some of the vegetation in the remaining riparian setback. So I don't have any further comment on that would change um, based on the new submittal. So if you have questions, I'd be happy to entertain. Do you have any questions for Chad? No. Thank you, Chad. Works good. Um, I'm not going to close the meeting. I'm going to leave the meeting open in case we need to bring anyone back up. But I am going to entertain a motion to approve uh, variance number 0117-1084. So moved. Second. Um, we have, we have, it's been second. It's open for discussion on the board. Um, no one wants to start, I guess I'll go. Um, you are the chairman. Thank you <laughs> for remembering. Um, I, you know, uh, I think they've, they made an effort to try to reduce the impact to the riparian setback. You know, in my opinion, I still feel like we have pretty um, substantial impact to that riparian setback. And so, um, then we all have to look at it and decide, you know, how we feel about that. But that's my feeling at this point. I agree with you. That's simple to me. Nothing? No. I think that. Whatever we do has to be has to bear some contingency. There has to be some, uh, with it being subject to further approval, obviously. But we're, yeah, we're yeah. looking at the riparian setback. That's what it's about. Yeah. The, uh, any um, <coughs> motion forward would again continue to include that they <coughs> receive um, approvals from the county agencies in the. I actually have a question. Sure. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. No, um, actually, for Chad, um, um, Chad, can you come back up? And um, with the new riparian setback uh, distances, um, we've seen Heather and I just discuss one this week. A, another plot, another um, lot, uh, where the designated riparian setback was 50 foot, but. <clears throat> who was it? Was it the county engineer or soil and water? Or it might have been Chet. Um, went out and decided that the actual impact was of the stream bed <clears throat> lent itself more to a 25 foot repairing setback in terms of actual uh, effect. I, I recall so. Yeah. And um, so I'd like to compare that to this creek. I haven't walked it. Or anything but in terms I know it's a 75 foot designated setback and that's I mean that's like the second largest the next one up is a river right <laughs> like 150 foot Correct. I, I think um, is that based upon your experience with this particular creek is that is it pretty um, consistent with the 75 foot or is it less in terms of runoff average runoff Okay, so the, the 75 foot comes into play if it is a category three headwater stream, which is based on the habitat and the biology that's in the stream. We don't measure that over every linear feet of every stream in the county. We take a segment that's representative and we take that measurement. In the case that we brought up there where it was on the map as a 75 or category three, <coughs> when I looked at it, doesn't meet those criteria without doing the measurements, but just having <clears throat> been over a thousand of them, it didn't just tell it didn't meet the criteria. So I told Heather at 25 feet was appropriate. In this scenario, 
I did not look at the stream enough to tell when I was out there. If you would like me to go back out and do that, I can. No, but no, at this point in time, I wouldn't be able to feel comfortable telling you it's 25 feet or 75 feet. I didn't look at it in that regard when I was out there. So. Okay, um, but the the criteria in, does the criteria include um, a average runoff? No, it doesn't. That's interesting. No. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yep. <coughs> Um, How far into the setback are we? To the maximum um, point. Twenty. So eighteen feet. Eighteen feet. Eighteen feet. Yeah. Can you talk about the difference between yeah, seven so and the seventy-five. Yeah, it's an encroachment. Seventeen and a half feet. Seventeen and a half. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then Heather, I can now I can close the meeting. Or, yeah, or you don't the feel like you're going to ask for any close the public hearing. Portion. The public hearing portion of it, I can close it. If we don't have anything to discuss, we don't have any other further questions. No one has any further questions. Okay. So the, um, <clears throat> there's no further questions. The public hearing for variance number. 0117-1084 is not closed to the public. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna, so just, I'm gonna the, put a motion to vote, and the motion will, be, would, will add that they get engineering approval from all the county uh, offices building engineering um, that the new revised plan that was submitted today, that it's constructed as per this plan, which also includes the Ready Rock wall that <coughs> they provided. Okay. So, uh, the question is on the approval of uh, variance number 0117-1084, contingent that they receive county approval from the building department, engineering department, um, pollute, um, soil and water and anyone else that, that's required for approval to construct the pool and wall um, and that the pool wall is constructed to the dimensions that are shown in the attached plans and drawings. Let me just put a caveat to that provided that they comply with the county recommendations or requirements. Yes. If, if this has to be altered at all based on county requirements you want that to be able to happen to. Yes, but what if those county requirements impact their variance need? So your approval will be your approval will be subject to obviously the approval of the county building department, the county engineer, and any other county agency that's required, right? Right. And that they build it build it in accordance with the plans submitted with their application as of today. Okay. However, should those plans have to be altered once those county agencies look at them again, which have these already been submitted to the county? Yes, and we so it's likely they're going to have to be changed based on his email, right? Right. So mm -hmm. provided that they follow these plans and still get approval from the county agencies, there might be a little bit of a difference from what we have tonight. And if there's a difference, do they need to come back and get approval from us? Or no, just, just as long as they ad ad adhere to whatever the county recommends. Okay. Can, can I say something? Can sure. Although that wouldn't allow them to approach further into the repairing setback, right? You could put you could put that in there. Yes. I don't think you want to grant a plan. Yeah, I, I don't think we want to approach right. any further. We already have a significant impact. I don't right. Think we you would be granting a variance to the 17 and a half foot. Okay. Impact into the repairing setback, correct? Is that what we're correct? Gonna, without any further subject to approval from right. Right. the other county agencies. Okay. So you've got a, there. Part of the zoning resolution also requires construction fencing to be shown, making sure that there's no equipment back there disturbing any of the area outside of where they may get the variance. So you're saying that they're not going to disturb anything beyond the wall and there needs to be construction fencing in place there. Can, can, can you come back up, please? You Somebody the come back. Well, we're gonna they're going to have to adhere to the zoning resolution. Yeah. Right. This is only for the variance. Right. Right. So yeah. that's separate and apart. 
Okay. They, they still have to comply with every other aspect. This is only to go in to the riparian setback. Right. Okay. So I don't know that we need to reopen okay. again. Okay. If they're, as long as, I mean, everybody knows they have to adhere so to the rest of the zoning Riley okay. resolution. I just so wanted everyone ahead. to know that. Right? So when they come back and get the permit from us, um, the site plan is going to have to show construction fencing beyond the wall. But yeah. that's not a part of the variance. No, no that's part of their approval process. Though. It's part of the zoning permit approval process. And right. I just want to, and that, just so the applicant knows and that you're aware that they're not going to be able to do anything beyond that wall based on this site plan. Right. Okay. So, do you believe they're going to need another variance to put the construction fencing up to comply with the, is that where? No, it is not, I mean, if we give them the variance to right where the wall is, then the construction fencing goes right there. Right on where the wall is. Right where the wall is supposed to be constructed, yeah. Can you guys comply with that? You can't. I, I have a question. If I, if I'm... Well, hold on. Should I have them come back up and reopen this, or... Oh, I, I just want to follow... It can't change your motion. I, I think the question that he's going to have is going to go outside the purview of what we're seeking to do right now. I think we're getting a little too far afield again. So I, I think we can vote on it as it is. And those are questions he's going to have for the building department or Heather as this moves forward. Right. Yeah, okay. in front of you is the variance for the Correct. Variance. Okay. We're going. Yeah. Okay. If, if we approved uh, 18 feet, they could put the fence in and have the room, no problem, right? Yeah, but I just want to make sure it really is 18 feet. It's, it's 17 and a half. And at what point are we saying it's, I mean... Based on the, on the southeast corner, you're saying from there, 18 feet? That's the shortest dimension, yeah. Okay. I see, the, Heather, the 18 feet, I think, you mean it's supposed to be 75 feet from this, the bend in the stream. That's mm -hmm. the further okay. setback, and they're coming in. And their measurements from the wall. Or from the from the yeah, patio. To, so that's a 17 and a half feet is this dimension right in here. Which okay. the difference? 17 and a half feet is the difference between yeah. 57 and a half and 75. That's basically what it is. It's from the back side of the wall. So it's what you said. Yeah. So 75 minus. Yeah. 57 and a half. 57 and a half. Okay. So I'm sorry, just make it clear in your motion that again, how many feet you're giving them the variance for when, when you're ready at that point. So I Should we give them 18 instead of the 17 and a half? That's or up to you, the, you, you guys. Give them six Something inches to put the fence up so we don't have to come back and do this again. Okay. You guys are okay with that? Okay. I'll try to say everything. <laughs> um, we're going to, uh, the question is on approval variance appeal number, number 0177. 0117-1084, contingent on approval from the county building, engineering, soil and water, and any other permits that are required for the uh, design and, and construction of the wall and pool as shown on the drawings with the modification that the, ver the wall will be eight, 18 feet the less. The variance would be 18 for 18 feet to feet. allow for the installation of construction fencing. Fencing only. And only. Then and provided that the wall does not exceed the 17 and a half feet submitted and in their application. Not to take it away from you. No, no, Sorry. I'm happy that you're <laughs> taking the truth. What she said <laughs> is added to it. Do that? Um, is there I mean, anything else that I'm missing? No, I think the only thing I would add is you, you stated any and all county and then you said engineering, county building, county building, engineering, soil and water, any and all state and federal and or county permits that may or may not be required. All that approval variance is contingent on getting all those approvals from the state, county. Um, and any other governmental authority yeah. that may have such ability to require the same. And then if, if um, is there anything else we do have to say they have to come back if they can't
can meet those requirements or it doesn't no, they have to comply with the, all other aspects okay so they have to comply with that all right i guess vote is for the approval of the variance with 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 those items that we noted a no vote denies the variance heather please call for the vote Gerald? Yes. Mr. Dines? Yes. Mr. Sweeney? Yes. Mr. Volantic? No. Mr. Hamilton? Yes. Your appeal has been approved. Okay, next on our agenda is um, appeal number 0217 uh, 1. 086. Mr. Kyle Rhodes is requesting a variance for the property located at 8001 Butler Hill Drive and being permanent parcel number uh, 08-A-023-F-00-026-0 <coughs> to locate an accessory building with an 8-foot left side rear yard clearance in lieu of the minimum 10-foot uh, required as set forth in section 15.04b and table 15.04-1 of the zoning resolution. Mr. Rhodes, oh, there you are. All right, please state your name and address and confirm that you've been sworn in. Sure. My name is Kyle Rhodes. I live at 8001 Buckler Hill Drive in Concord, Ohio, 44077. And I have been sworn in. Thank you. Show is yours. Okay. At this point, uh, the background of this is that in August of 2016, we installed a shed onto the property uh, in the back corner. Uh, upon inspection in early January or mid-January, the zoning inspector's office measured the shed as only being eight feet from the uh, northern <coughs> border of the property, uh, rather than the 10 feet that was required. Uh, at this point, the shed was when it was installed, it was built in place and then leveled and, uh, and elevated, uh, where it was built upon the, the posts that are there now to level it. Uh, moving the shed at this point would actually be a hardship uh, based on the location. So we were asking for a variance based on that, yes, we are less than the 10 feet, we are at eight feet. Uh, from the side property line. We are 10 feet from the back property line. There is no competing structures near it. It is open wood on either side. Uh, the storage shed is in character with the neighborhood. It matches the style of construction and color of the, sh of the primary house. It should have no impact on the delivery of any government services. Um, we were, we made sure we were in, in accordance with the homeowner association we forgot the township, and for that I apologize. Um, so at this point, we are looking for that variance uh, to preserve the spirit and intent of the zoning resolution, and we believe that substantial justice shall be done by granting the variance. Got it all off. Excuse me. Any questions, Paul? It's the same story. I Who's going to administer the flogging, right? I just wish that the homeowners would be aware of the zoning before they forge ahead and place these sure. sheds outside the zoning permitted areas. <laughs> yep. I will in the future. So did you measure off of the property line when you first mm -hmm. located it, or did you just kind of cite it out there where it looked good and just that's where you guys put it? We measured from the back side, and we were, thought we were close to the edge uh, on the side, and I thought, I didn't check the zoning. I thought it was nine feet uh, when I measured off, but that was an error. No permit, no, I mean, obviously, no, no. permitting, just, well, okay. And, and just so it's clear, mm -hmm. this is not your hardship. I mean, it's a hardship to you now, but that's not a hardship per the zoning resolution. Correct. Yeah, if that was like, a, I mean, we could tell you to move the shed to two feet and that's not a hard shed. Okay, I don't have any more questions. Brandon's good. I echo everything you said. Uh, is it a concrete slab? 
It is not a concrete slab. <laughs> Do you have a neighbor to the north? We do have a neighbor to the north. They are leaving that area undeveloped for their own admission. Are, are, are they aware that you're encroaching on setback that's in, intended to benefit them? By the letter that was sent out to the neighbors. Okay, so they're aware of it? Yes. They don't have any problem with it? They have not indicated so. Yeah. Not here. Yeah, we have a little Good? Okay, thank you. Thank you. You can be seated. Thank you. Anyone else here speaking against this appeal or for this appeal? Okay. <clears throat> if there's no further questions, a public hearing for variance number 0217-1086 is not posted to the public. Um, I'll entertain a motion to approve variance number 0217-1086. So moved. Second. Um, discussion on the board? Nothing. It's the same old story, the same old slippery slope, but I don't know. I guess that's why we're also here, right? Yeah. So I don't know. We didn't have a job if it wasn't. <laughs> it's the big bucks. <laughs> All right. The question is on the approval of uh, variance number 0217-1086, uh, a yes vote. It's for the approval of the variance and no vote. Denies it. Heather, please call the vote. Mr. Hamilton? Yes. Mr. Sweeney? Yes. Mr. Dines? Yes. Ms. Gerald? I guess. <laughs> yes. Said a yes. Said a I'm sorry. It's a yes. <laughs> sorry. Uh, and Mr. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Have it. Been approved. Uh, if, you, if you end up leaving, just have it before you go. Um, next on the agenda is the minutes from February 8th, 2017. Call for a motion to approve the minutes. Mm -hmm. So moved. I didn't know this. Second. All right, well, I will abstain, but I will in the interest of preserving the record and its clarity, although I hate to do this to Mindy, because I find her to be the most competent court reporter in the area. For the record. And one who I employ myself on times, legal proceedings. But nonetheless, on page 82, line 8, I believe Ms. Gerald means to say the fourth item and not the fourth them. So, so in light of the fact that this prior variance had so much consternation and troubles to it. I think we want to just preserve the record and its clarity. And I would make that statement, although I have to abstain from the approval of those minutes because I wasn't here. So Thank you, Brandon. For the record. For the, for the record. Uh, all right. I missed you. So Sorry. the question is approval of the minutes based on Brandon's um, revisions for February 2017. I guess we're approved the minutes. And that one this night. Heather, please call. Oh, please just vote. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, 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 thank you. The minutes for February 8, 2017 have been approved. The meeting for March, the Board of Zoning Appeals meeting for March 8, 2017 is now closed. <laughs>